Good morning everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a mixed media piece. I didn't film it uh, just because I was working out in my garage, but I added, well, let's see, you can see the shimmer on that. I added um, spray paint to this piece. It's a 12 by 24 inch canvas. I used white, gold, and a glitter, glitter spray paint. <clears throat> Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the glitter too much because I just kind of kept on layering all the colors, but I may add more uh, once I add the paint. But I wanted to kind of add that gold spray paint in on my base just to see what I can do with adding um, paint on top. So I have um, just a little bit of black paint mixed up and a very small amount of white. I haven't decided if I really want to use a lot of white paint. I may just do black. Um, but once it's dry, if it turns out, I'm also thinking of adding some leaf to this one too. So, um, you know, this will be a combination of multiple techniques, multiple different uh, mediums, and we'll see how this turns out. <clears throat> I'm doing something a little different today that I haven't tried yet before. I'm going to use some different silicone spatulas to uh, move my liquid paint around. This is called a catalyst wedge. Uh, it, I got it on Amazon. Um, I've seen people use them with acrylic paint before, but they are also used in baking. So for the most part, I think most people use them for baking tools because it spreads out nice and evenly. So if you're decorating a cake or something like that, you can use it to smooth everything out. Um, so I just got all these on Amazon. I'll link them below. I've used, uh, I've used these two quite a bit with stenciling and other types of things, but this will be the first time that I use them for moving my paint around instead of using a hair dryer or my airbrush to blow the paint. So I'm just going to put some music on. I'm going to put some paint down and we'll see what kind of design we can create with this. Again, it's just kind of a little experiment. I don't want to keep doing the same techniques over and over, so I'm going to probably be incorporating more mixed media into my pieces just to try and get my own style, which after a couple of years of <laughs> fluid acrylic painting I'm still trying to do.
Thank you.